it's Ruby from DottyDelightful.com and I thought I would pop on and say Happy New Year's Eve! So um, I work really in my cycles and with the seasons and stuff and it's a weird thing because New Year's Eve is like, it, there's a lot of pressure on it isn't there to um, get rid of all what's gone behind and get all the new coming in for next year which is brilliant and I love to do that but also at the same time I think we have to be really gentle with ourselves especially this year um, because of what's happened uh, over 2020 and I don't think that we have to really dwell on it massively that it's been this bad year because is as harsh as it may sound everything that happens is like a lesson and a learning and even in the darkest times that there's always something that you're learning and i know that just sounds like oh we've heard that before this is really shit i can't go and do this and that i get that i really do get that um i've worked for many many years on my um, emotional and mental health and i've I used to have really bad depression many years ago um, and I know how easy it is to just let everything get on top of you and this is why I'm always always striving all the time to not let things get on top of me but even I've been feeling really emotional especially over Christmas and stuff and I think there's this real sense of gratitude for just really simple things like just being able to talk to a friend or have something nice to eat or have a warm house it's like it's massive it's like really massive um but at the same time there's the whole like new year new me yeah i'm gonna release all this weight i'm gonna do this this and this and this year it's a bit weird isn't it because uh, especially in the uk at the minute we're um having lots of lockdowns and last night in the area that I'm in we went into tier 4 which means that everything's shut apart from food shops basically um, and it's a weird thing of writing like oh I want to travel I want to do this that and the other and then at the same time it feels like there's so many restrictions that we can't do them things that we really want to do but it doesn't stop us dreaming it doesn't stop us thinking when things are different and they will be different um and i will not use that term new normal because oh my god i hate that so much um there's nothing normal about it and good we it, normal didn't work normal doesn't work so um i think we should embrace the changes and and it's going to be brilliant um so we can still dream we can still think about uh, what we want to manifest in our lives and we can still see the good because there's tons of good there is there's loads of good so I'm at my little area in my downstairs studio and this is the area where I pull cards and I journal and I write gratitude and um, I've got my new year planner pack that I made um, and it's brilliant because um, lots of you have bought this off my Etsy shop uh, which is also called Dotty Delightful if you wanted to get one um, and it's so good because we have a bit of the beginning that says how amazing you all are and you are and then we have the next bit which is if I can turn the page over which is goodbye to 2020 and not a goodbye like thank god that's gone i'm so glad it's over this is like a goodbye what i do every year and i've just made it into planner form because i think it's a really important thing so you can you ask yourself these questions and then you journal about it um and it's a really good way to close everything and be prepared for a new year um so we've got that and then obviously there's some writing paper in there it's really hard to turn it over uh and then we have a little journal about what do we need to fully let go of 
for 2020. Um, my big one this year, I think, I need to let go of the thought that I am not enough. So I do so many different things and, and I love doing so many different things, but I asked myself the question, why do I feel the need to do so many things? Um, and what am I trying to prove? Who am I trying to prove it to? Um, what, why, I, why do I never feel that what I do is enough? Like, what is that about? So that's a big thing for me to journal on tonight. Um, and also, with the full moon um, last night, which was amazing, did you see? It was, oh, it's beautiful. Uh, I had a really beautiful talk with her and uh, I want to let go of the guilt that I carry as a parent. Again, that I have not done enough. Um, and when you're a parent, oh my God, it like guilt's in bucket loads, isn't it? It's ridiculous. So I really want to let go of that. Um, so that's that. And then we have the magic hand. And I love doing this. So um, obviously I won't do it, go through it really fast and stuff, but I will use my sage that I grew in the garden and smudge with it and everything and I'll get into like a meditative state basically that just means that you calm your breathing you kind of try and clear your mind as best that you can and you put your feet flat on the floor and you feel connected and I like to feel like I imagine in my head that roots come out of the ground um, and they're connected to the shiny gem that's in right in the middle of the earth and it comes out and it wraps around your feet and it anchors you into the ground and it's really like a really nice thing to imagine and then I'll work with my magic hand and um, there's a forgiveness sheet what do you want to forgive yourself for um, then there's a part that you fill in and it's got little prompts and stuff that you fill in and it's what you're going to want for the coming year what how are you going to trust and grow in that year um, and there's more about finding your purpose there's all sorts of stuff and welcoming in 2020 and then what's really nice is you've got little lists like books you want to read this year um you know we've got 365 days of possibility starting tomorrow like what what are we going to do it's amazing and then I've given you all, um, if you've got the, the kit, my affirmation that I say every day. And this is pinned up on my computer desk. So whenever I'm working, I can read it and say it out loud. And it's really um, evolved and changed over the years. And it's really a good all-round one. Um, and then we do a congratulations and a declaration. Because you're so worth declaring things for like we show up as so many different things but actually what about us what what are we going to do for us this coming year and that's really important so i'll be filling that out in a little while and um i just want to show you this as well so on the solstice i did a little ritual and i planted a seed and look how big that can you see it um look how big oh that was gonna be white um try again look how big the seed's grown it's massive um so yeah how nice is that so new life is always growing even though when we're outside and everything looks like it's dead and nothing's actually happening under the ground all those roots are growing strong and all those little plants are asleep and waiting to just wake up in the spring just like the animals so if you feel like that and you can uh, just hibernate as much as you want to you're allowed to do that so I just thought it'd be quite nice to just jump on and maybe pull some cards let's see what we get for the year uh, so this is the Forest of Enchantment Tarot and I absolutely adore it. It's 
beautifully illustrated it's got gorgeous gorgeous illustrations in it i just i really adore it and obviously it's nature and the woods which is my whole thing um so let's see what cards we get now this is just a collective pull so it's just a general general pull for the year ahead and let's just see what message maybe that we can use this evening to uh, just think about what we need to kind of focus on for the coming year so let's So we got the two of challenges and we also got the the forge so let's have a look in the book uh, what these mean I don't know the meanings of these off my head because um, I only use them really on special occasions so the first card the two of challenges um, it, the meaning is stalemate inability to compromise and a pause for contemplation so a closer look mirrors have a long history in the world of enchantment while you may on occasion see other beings in the mirror remember that it is also a magical power to truly see yourself and the story of it is traveling through the forest a young man suddenly comes upon a magic mirror block in his path the looking glass hangs in mid-air with no visible means of support and no way to remove it. The forest is thick with undergrowth here. He can't go forward and he can't go around and he doesn't want to go back. So he chooses the obvious solution. He looks into the mirror. He sees himself exactly as he is. No mystical vision or otherworldly entity, just his own startled, wide-eyed self. You may have gotten into a situation from which there is no obvious p positive movement forward. This card signifies a pause for clarification, not about the situation, but about your place in it. You can't go any further on this path until you take a long look at yourself. Stop being in denial about your own faults and failings. Stop distracting yourself to avoid facing the truth. You will make better progress when you are clearer about your true intentions. So that was the two of challenges. And then we got the forge. So let's have a little look at the forge, which is this one. It's like lots of little gnome guys um, in a metal forge. So the meaning at a glance is balance, temperance, moderation, alchemy, elemental harmony, and strength that comes from enduring suffering. A closer look, the swirling magic around the dwarves, oh the dwarves, not gnomes, uh, contains tiny symbols for the elements. In a wide clearing stands an ancient forge where magical swords are made. Dwarves have been dedicated to this task for as long as dwarf memory goes back, and that is a very long time indeed. All the elements are needed to summon the soul of the sword, earth, fire, air and water. The raw materials from the earth are activated and transformed by fire, which is kept alive by air. The fiery metals are cooled by pure water from a nearby spring. This process tempers the blades and strengthens them. The swords are worked and shaped upon the anvil, then heated again and cooled again. When these master craftsmen are satisfied with each blade's balance and strength, the gleaming swords and their hilts are finished with the jewels and mystic runes. This is the dwarf's vocation in the highest sense, a spiritual and magical task as well as a practical one. The forge represents a blending of elements to achieve balance. Time spent in fire must be balanced by time in water. The blade is stressed by the flames and blessed by the living water. Combining stressing and blessing results in strength. So these cards really are, you know, like a, as an overview what can you look at in yourself that needs addressing that you keep avoiding um and when you can be brave enough to face that 
then you will overcome whatever it is that's standing in your way. And this one is about balance and harmony in life. So if your life is very unbalanced, for example, say like you spend all your time with your job and very little time with your family, then your family is going to suffer. Or, um, you know, if you spend all your time working on your mental health, but you let your physical body go, then your physical body is going to suffer. So everything's got to be in balance. Nature is a beautiful teacher of balance at all times. So have a good look at yourself and what can you balance. Um, and they're really nice cards to think about for the coming year they're, and they're really important too. So I hope you uh, enjoyed that little card pull from the book. Um, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you for the past year, for all my wonderful customers um, on Etsy, for all my amazing patrons on Patreon. Um, honestly, I had a little mini panic when the whole um, pandemic hit and I thought, oh my God, what am I going to do? I am only an artist and uh, people are losing their jobs and everything. I don't know how this is going to work. And I had a little panic for a little, probably half a day, and then I had a little cry to release it. Um, and then after that, I was like, no, my gifts are needed in the world. I tell this to everybody, gifts are needed in the world. Just do what you love and the rewards come back. And and I trust and I believe that I can make a difference. And I'm not just an artist, um, you know, I do a lot more and I know that a load of you do a lot more too and it's been really hard watching my really good friends suffer because their businesses have gone under um, even with help um, it's been a really tricky time for them so that's really hard but thank you from the honestly from the bottom of my heart I say this all the time but really thank you for being there for supporting me whether you've bought something off me or not whether you've just commented on something that I've shared, whether you've liked a post, whether you've private messaged me to tell me some of your most personal details that honestly sometimes they make me cry tears of joy because if I can help people then that you know it's just amazing. So every every little thing that you think's little actually is quite big in the grand scheme of things. So I'm just so grateful, um, really grateful, and I'm super grateful for, to my Patreons as well because they have kept a steady income coming in and given me a purpose every month to show up and create and make and, and do because um, I think as the days roll into one and the weeks roll into one and you don't know really whether you're coming or going, you've got no proper routine where you can go out for breakfast every Saturday or you know you go and see friends every Sunday or whatever it is. When you've not got any of that and you work at home, it's a weird thing that you can kind of get lost. So knowing that I've got patrons um, that uh, look forward to what I create every month, it's just such a blessing, it really is. So with that in mind, um, I just want to really quickly touch on that I've been thinking about what's working and what's not working for me in my business. And uh, as I said earlier, I do so many different things, like loads of different things, but I'm all over the place. Okay, I'm multi-passionate, which is not a bad thing, um, and I have a billion ideas, but I can't physically do them all. Um, so I've been really thinking about this and my idea that's grown over these past few weeks is to really embrace what I do anyway which is to live seasonally and in the month um, of what's growing outside, what I can forage, what I can use in my creativity, what inspires me um, in nature that's happening 
uh, you know what's happening with the moon and everything like that and each month I'm just gonna really do as much as I can seasonally for that month but I'm also going to learn more folklore I love folklore and um, I want to share that as well so today I've spent the whole day making a zine it's still not finished but oh my god I've loved it so much um, and it's got all the things for January so like the herbs that are growing and what they're good for um, the plants what the meanings the language of flowers you know little snippets of folklore what's happening with the animals there's all sorts in there so I'm just loving that and that's what I'm going to be doing from now on so there are changes and if you followed me for a long 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 time from when I used to do the fairs and stuff and make vintage things uh, collect vintage things should I say and make clothes and things then this is a total transformation but I want you to understand that as people we we do change and we do transform and you've got to tune in to what feels right to you and what feels right to me is this right now at the moment just being totally in the moment of this month so um so yeah i'm really looking forward to that and that's it from me now because i want to go and tidy up a bit and make some dinner and then I can come back to my lovely place and fill in my uh, planner for saying goodbye 2020 goodbye and hello 2021 and all the gifts that uh, you will bring so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm not sure if I'll be up at midnight or I've gone to bed um already but whatever you are doing tonight whether you're on your own or celebrating with others if you are not in a lockdown area um then i just want to send you the deepest thanks and gratitude and love and blessings for next year um and just know that everything's gonna be okay just everything will be okay no matter what just keep that in your mind uh, everything will be okay.